You would is get your it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be going over the Galaxy Opals in NBA 2K23 my team and ranking them on a tier list now as you guys can see we do have a lot of Galaxy Opals a lot more than the pink diamond tier and, and yeah, I mean, a lot of these Galaxy Opals are really, really solid in my team. But we do have some really bad players on this list. So I think it's going to be easy to fill F tier as well as all the way up to S tier. Now, before we dive any further into this video today, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, make sure you guys do smash that subscribe button. We're on the road towards 120,000 subscribers and i really do appreciate all of the recent support let's start off here with galaxy opal kevin love now it's crazy because k-love at his age is still hooping in the league but i mean in my team there are just way 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 better options i'm not one to just sit up here in front of you guys and slander somebody but the car just objectively is not great he's c tier and that's where i'm going to leave him al horford i like al horford more than kevin love i think his release is better gonna play better defense for you but even at that al horford is not great in my team he's fine he's okay if you want to run him do what you gotta do he's just not great a Carter is really good galaxy opal shangu now for Shangu, what makes him good? It's his height. That's basically it. There's not much else you're going to get out of Shangu outside of, you know, he is tall on the court. But at least he does give you that, right? At least he gives you something on the court. And even if it's just height, as giving you something is better than nothing. Iggy up next, not as good as Shangu, but Andre Gadala is a solid enough Galaxy Opal that you can run. Again, going to play great defense for you, like a lot of guys. Offensively, just not necessarily your best option. AK-47 S tier. Name better small forwards in my team. Bobo, Chet, then who? Right? I mean, the small forward list is top heavy in those couple of guys but after those couple of guys ak-47 is going to compete just as good as anyone else would i love ak's release he can move i really wish he could play shooting guard in my team jameson i mean i've never really loved jameson in my team but it might be my personal just kind of struggle with him i'll go b tier just for the sole fact that he should be better than i personally am with him right i should be better with jameson just have never really been able to figure it out with the card. Anthony Edwards stinks. I'll go C tier. I mean, he's not totally useless, but you have to grind a ton of domination for Anthony Edwards. And at the end of the day, it's probably not worth it. Arvidas Sabonis S tier. You want to talk about Galaxy Opus in my team. You gotta mention Arvidas Sabonis. I mean, he's 7'3". He's got 25 base Hall of Famers. His speed isn't bad. He can knock down shots. Arvidas Sabonis can play at an absolutely really high level for you guys. Benedict Matherin up next. I mean, the card isn't as good as he should be. B tier. Still not worthless, but I mean, you had to grind six weeks of limited for Matherin, who is objectively just not great. Ben Simmons for this stage, I, I, I think for the majority of people, you got to go A tier. Because look, if you can knock down shots with Ben Simmons... He's still really good, but how many people are consistently knock down, knocking down shots with Ben? That's my real big issue with the card. Big Ben Wallace up next. I mean, B tier, I guess. He's better than Kevin Love, no doubt about it. But, I mean, he's just undersized. His release isn't that bad. To me, he's just undersized. That's that's truly really the whole story there with Ben Wallace. Billy Knight, a card I still really do like. Billy Knight's on the verge of being S tier. Can't quite go to S tier with him, but I really do like Billy Knight and appreciate the card in general. Appreciate definitely what he did for me and the fact that 2K blessed me with him. Bob Nedelecki still has the quick release. I'm going to go B tier with Bob Nedelecki still to this day. Now, you, a lot of you guys might be surprised about that, but his release can take him places. All right, let's get some bad people on this list, okay? Sean Marion, the first guy I'm going to bring up here. He's not very good. I know he's going to play some defense. I'll go D tier with Sean Marion. Just not really, uh, not fond of the card. Next card uh, that I'm going to find that I'm not fond of. I got I to find him first. Jalen Williams kind of stinks in my team. 
I mean, maybe he's as, I'm, I'm going to move these guys down. Maybe he's as good as some of these guys, but he's just not great at my team. Going to move Nedelecki down. I think that's that's where I want to go uh, right now. Could move Benedict Mather down as well. Bradley Beal, your deeds here. 6-3 at the point guard position. Not a great release. Not going to sit there and hype you up. Scout, I'll hype you up, Scout. I like you. A tier. Not as good as Andre Kirilenko. That's a common question I get. Is, is Scout as good as AK-47? No. But Brian Scalabrini is really good. Not only good, he's really fun to use in a mindset. So if you are looking for a more so fun small forward that can play at a high level, Scalabrini might be worth a look for you guys. I don't know how that guy glitched. Let's move Shangoon there. I like going by height. Seti Maxwell. I think I got to go B tier with Seti Maxwell. But if I do that, let's do this. Let's move you down. Let's move you down and you down. Because I think Cedric Maxwell is really solid. But is he as good as a guy like Brian Scalabrini? No. And so that's why I am going to put him in there at B tier. Chris Molden, you're going C tier. I do not like Chris Molden. His release is not nearly what it was last year. And he just isn't perfect. The car is not necessarily bad per se. But he's just not perfect. Our first F tier player is Danilo Gallinari. I don't care what you guys want to say about, oh, well, Gallo's got height. Oh, he's got this. Oh, he's got that. I've used Gallinari probably more than anybody. Because the first day he came out, I basically used a full squad of those Enfuego players. Gallo's not it in my team. I'm not trying to sit here and be mean, but he is not it. Danny Ferry is it. Danny Ferry will go A tier with Danny Ferry is still extremely good. I think the big thing for Danny Ferry and why I like him over a lot of the other small forwards is because he's 6'10". He's got good height for you guys and that just really does carry him. Danny Green up next. Danny Green, I guess I'm going to go B tier. There's not many people in my team that are going to be more chick than Danny Green. Like if you get a wide open catch and shoot. I'd probably rather have Danny Green shooting it than nearly anybody else in my team. His release is chick. He's got great shooting badges. 6'6", six, six, plays good defense. I like Danny Green in my team. DeMarcus Cousins. I think this boogie would, is going to go in C tier. If you have the heat... Nah. I mean, I'm going to put him in C tier. If you had the Hero Boogie, he'd probably be A tier, though. Hero Boogie is quite a bit better. I just don't love DeMarcus Cousins in my team. I never have... And I don't know if I ever will. Detlef Shrimp up next. I'm going to go B tier with Detlef. Has a good release. 6'10 at the 3. He just does a lot of things for you. Is he the best card in the game? No. But he is a card you can use and have a decent amount of success with. I don't mind Detlef at all in my team. Again, not the best, but definitely could do worse. Draymond Green up next. I'm going B tier with Draymond Green. Right in there with Andre Iguodala. Going to play good defense. Going to get you occasional stops. But... When it comes down to it, is he the best card in the game? Is he a card you think about like, wow, this card is absolutely elite? I just don't necessarily see that with Dre. Now, again, that's not me hating on him. That's not me just saying, you know, you can't play him. It's just me saying I think there overall is going to be better options than Dre in my team. Eddie Jones up next. I like Eddie Jones. Wherever Billy Knight is, Eddie Jones has to be as well. I've said that since day one. Between those two cards, they're both extremely good. It is personal preference, though. Between those two cards, I mean, it really is kind of split in hairs. Both of those, uh, both those cards, or I said three cards, they have, both of those cards are really solid in my team and can play at a really, really high level. Elvin Hayes up next. Now, I'd be lying to say I even know what Elvin Hayes is capable of. So let's look up the, let's look up the card because a lot of you guys might be getting Elvin Hayes that can play small forward, and I'm going to say it. Everybody is sleeping on Elvin Hayes. I'm going to say it because I know nobody else probably will. Everybody is sleeping on Elvin Hayes. You get him for a level 25, and if you get him as you grind rewards, you can play Elvin Hayes. I'm just throwing that out there. I'm not saying you guys necessarily should. But here's the deal, and I'm going to say this because people need to hear me say it, okay? Elvin Hayes. Power forward primary. Okay, well, if you get a pace in space coach, the three ball is going to get to a mid-80s. Everything else about the card is perfect. I know his shooting badges aren't necessarily perfect on the base card, but if you take him in the shoot around, you'll notice the dude is absolutely chick. Everybody is sleeping on Elvin Hayes, but I'm telling you guys, you shouldn't be. You get him for being level 25 or whatever. You got a small forward that's on an incredibly high level. 
I'd take him over Danny Green, Deadlift Shrug. I'm putting him in A tier. You guys can tell me I'm gassing him, tell me this, tell me that. But he's got small forward eligibility, a good release. I like Alvin Hayes. Evan Mobley up next. I mean, I guess I'll go B tier because he's seven feet tall. He's going to play good defense. In my opinion, not necessarily the best option, but again, going to do a lot of those little things for you and your specific squad that, you know, could possibly make a difference for you guys. Next up, guys, we do see James Harden. Galaxy Opal James Harden, I don't necessarily love. I'm going to go C tier with him. Still can knock down shots. Galaxy Opal uh, Vince Carter, he's fine. B tier. I do think that Galaxy Opal Vince Carter has a little slower release, or I would say his release is on that, you know, on that slower side of things. Not that he's bad, right? Not that you can't use him. But just kind of be aware that his release is going to be on the slower side of things. Dark Matter Ray has an incredibly good release in my team, but... Uh, I mean, the, the, the Galaxy Opus is just that little bit slower. Next up, guys, we do see the Galaxy Opus Ray Allen. I'm going to go see to Ray Allen. I think Galaxy Opus Vince Carter, I'm higher on the Ray. I mean, it is personal preference between the two cards. That's just my personal opinion and how I do think of the cards. Galaxy Opus Mello. he's not bad, but I do think he's C tier. Like, again, I don't hate the card. He's not bad. But if you think he's any higher than C tier, I'd wonder why. Because I, I just don't see it with the card. He's fine in my team, but nothing too crazy. Mikael Bridges up next, not great. C tier. I mean, he's just not great in my team. Trust me when I tell you guys, there are better options than Mikael Bridges in general. If you want to use the card, do what you guys got to do. Just telling you, there are better options out there. Rudy up next at this stage, B tier. I still don't mind Rudy. His release to me just needs to be a little bit quicker. That's what I would say about the card. Not that it's bad. It just needs that sped up just that little bit to make him uh, just, just that little bit more usable and a little bit better. Josh Smith, our next F tier player. Look, if you have a bad release in my team at this point, you're going F tier. And that's the tier of Jerry Lucas. Absolutely horrible. Danny Granger, C tier. I don't love Danny Granger in my team. And you guys should know and understand why. It's Danny Granger. Why, why would I sit up here in, in front of you guys and hype up a card? that I don't necessarily love. It just, it doesn't make sense to me. He's fine in my team. Like, again, if you want to use the card, do what you guys have to do. I just don't necessarily love him, and I don't necessarily see it with Danny Granger, and I never did. MPJ, another card, I don't see it with. C tier, I don't like his release. Galaxy Opal Jonathan Isaac, still B tier. There's not that much of a difference between the Galaxy Opal Jonathan Isaac and the Dark Matter one. Both are going to do nearly the same things on the court for you, sure. One might be better than the others, but again, for me, I just don't see it too much of a difference within the couple cards. Next up, guys, we do see Pascal Siakam. Spicy P, you're going D tier. Why? Your release is not good. And again, I'm not trying to just sit here and slander guys with his release is not good. Hansbro, I guess I'll go C tier with. I don't love him. Leitner, D tier. I, I, I thought Christian Leitner's release would be okay. It's, it's, I don't want to sit here and slander him. It's just not what I thought it would be, okay? Not trying to sit here and, and slander him, anything like that. It's just not what I thought it would be. Blake Griffin, D tier as well. Not great in my team. Nate Thurman, I like. Even if you don't love Nate Thurman, if you can't agree with him, stuff like that, I still think he's C tier. One of the best defensive players in my team, and he's 6'11", so I'm not going to say he's going to get a ton of stops, but compared to Ben Wallace, he has the height going for him. E. Ginley and up next. C tier at this stage. I don't mind him, but defensively, he is going to get attacked. I mean, it's just the way it is. He's not great defensively for this specific time. Purvis Ellison, y'all know I love Purvis. We're going all the way up to A tier. I don't like him quite as much as AK anymore. I still do like Purvis. I just think AK is a little bit better. I think he's on the same level as like a Danny Ferry type of card. P. Maravich, Pistol P, B tier. I mean, if you got Pete, you got a good, fun point guard for a specific time. The problem is that time has came and that time has went. I mean, it's just not necessarily that time for Pistol Pete anymore. But if you used him, you probably had a lot of success with the card. Gary Payton, C tier. He just can't stand enough. And that's why he is C tier. I don't mind Gary Payton, though, at all in my team. Big Rush at this stage, D tier. I'm sorry. Big Russ had his time, like a lot of guys. And I love Russ on my No Money Spent when I had him. 
There's just overall better options at this stage in my team. Franz Wagner, he's not bad. I'm going to go B tier with the card. I'm biased against Franz because he should have been a better card than he was. Like, he, I mean, he's a, he's, a, he's a reward for clutch time, right? You had to win a ton of games, and that's who we got. Just kind of rubs me the wrong way in general. Jared Wallace up next. I'm going to go B tier with Jared Wallace. I thought Jared Wallace would be better than he ultimately ended up being, but he's not bad. B tier is the spot for Mr. Gerald Wallace ultimately in my opinion up next guys we do see galaxy opal Giannis, who i think is massively slept on i'm going a tier with galaxy opal Giannis. now why height runs the game and he is six foot eleven now you guys might be i wondered you got him higher than jonathan isaac in my opinion his player model is just that little bit better glenn rice i think is slept on I'm going to go B tier with Glenn Rice, though. Mm, no, I'm not. I'm going A tier. I think people still to this day sleep on Glenn Rice in my team. I used him in Limited on my Nobody Spam. Make sure to go watch that if you haven't yet. But I used him in Limited, and I started appreciating Glenn Rice, what he gives me in my specific squad. Do I think he's probably the best player in the game? No, but I do respect Glenn Rice in general. Gus the Bus, not very good. We'll go C tier with you. Just leaves a lot to be desired. Harold Miner, B tier. Harold Miner, solid. D Rose base, if you like that, dunks on everybody. I like Harold Miner in general. Both Hedus, I'm going to go with the same tier and I'm going to go A tier. If you know that, I'm just going to rank one of them though. If you know the Trey Upper, you're going to like Hedu. I personally don't necessarily know the Trey Upper. Next up, guys, we do see Galaxy Opal, Jalen Rose. And Jalen Rose. Y'all can call me crazy. I'm going A tier with him. A lot of the tall point guards are going to do the same thing. So, like, between a Jalen Rose, Hedo, it's preference. Between a Jalen Rose, Shangloom, Ben Simmons, it's preference. They each have their own things that they're going to do for you. But ultimately, just use who you're going to enjoy using more. That's kind of the biggest suggestion I would give to you guys watching this video. Because between Jalen Rose and Hedo, yes, both releases, in my opinion, are hard to time. They're each going to do their own thing for you. Jeremy Grant, he's not bad, but I'm going to go C tier. I just don't think the card's perfect. In my opinion, Elvin Hayes is better. Joakim Noah, y'all know I like Joakim Noah, and I'm going A tier with Joakim Noah. If you don't think he's A tier, you probably haven't used the card. He's got an incredibly good release in my team, and it carries him. He only has a 77 three ball, but it feels like a 90. I love Joakim in my team. John Wall, I'm going to go B tier with John Wall. I actually like John Wall. But a lot of the reason I like John Wall is because of his release. So that's just me being, I mean, kind of maybe biased for John Wall. I like his release more than a guy like Harold Miner. Objectively, if you want to go C tier with John Wall, I'm not going to argue against it. Josh Giddy, people who started slandering this Josh Giddy, he's not bad. His release is just bad. I'm going to go B tier with him. Still for a free point. This Josh Giddy obviously is basically the same as the, as the season reward one. So that's kind of what I'm talking about, people gas in him yes level one reward josh giddy basically the same as this card b tier in my opinion big cat not very good c tier he needs a new release if you want me to hype up cat tell 2k to give him a new release kg still not bad for this era and i guess i'll go a tier he's not bad but it's just one of those things he's just not tall i mean it height runs the game he's only 6 11 that's kind of why he's only A tier. But I still like KG still to this day. KPJ, A tier. No, if fans are about about it. KPJ is our first, net, I would say, undersized point guard. But he's got an incredible release. He can be your primary boiler. He just does a lot for you. That is why I do have him at A tier. Next up, guys, we do see Kyle Kuzma, who is really, really solid. I hate the Kuz upper. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I don't like the Kuz upper. I'm putting him at A tier. Some people would argue him over AK. I don't think so. Sweet Lou, Lou Dang, A tier. He's A tier, he's A tier, he's A tier. A different type of shooting guard, but definitely deserving of A tier. Marcus Gasol, a big, everybody knows and everybody loves, A tier. A tier for Marcus Gasol, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Marquez Johnson, I'm going to go C tier. I haven't used the card a ton, so... I mean, this is just kind of a rough spot for him. Again, I don't necessarily know if he should be C tier or not, but that's where I'm going with him. Michael Red, I, I, I don't necessarily love the card. I think he's C tier. Nah, I'm going to go C tier. His release, it's the tray upper, but it's not necessarily that bad. Like, I think if you use it, you can get the hang of it and green with him. I just don't necessarily love the card in general. He's fine. I don't hate him. I just don't love him. Yao Ming up next. <sighs> I mean, he, he should be in a GOAT tier. 
Yao Ming is, that is still Yao Ming. Is he as good as, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the other Yao Mings? Maybe not quite as good. But the card is still absolutely elite in my team. And if you want to slander Yao Ming at all, I just, I don't think, I don't, I don't think you know what you're talking about. Because he is absolutely elite in general. Smiles, Miles Turner up next. I haven't, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I haven't used enough of Miles Turner. I'm going to go A tier, but I haven't used enough of him to give you guys an accurate representation. Boncaro, I'm going to go C tier with. He needs a new, better release. Until then, not good. Millsap, I guess I'll go B tier. I don't love Paul Millsap, but I do think he's better than Boncaro. Peja, he's okay because he's tall. I guess I'll go B tier. Uh, nah, Peja is C tier. I don't love Peja at all, to be honest with you. Richard Lewis, C tier as well. At least he's tall. Doesn't give you much else on the court, but again, at least he is tall for you guys. RJ, I honestly thought Richard Jefferson would be good. He's really not good. Like, he's really not 6'7", release, not great. For a card I was hyped up, what he came out for, kind of leaves a lot to be desired. Ricky Davis up next. Ricky Davis is good. He's A tier. Uh, you could argue, you know, S tier for Ricky Davis, Eddie Jones, or, you know, Billy Knight, but they're all A tier in my opinion. Rudy Fernandez. I think Rudy Fernandez is B tier. If I want a small point guard, I'm using KPJ over Rudy Fernandez. It's that simple. So, again, if you want to argue him A tier, just know he's up against KPJ. Scotty Barnes, I think B tier. I don't think Scotty Barnes is as good as these guys. I think he's most comparable probably to a guy like Draymond Green. Some people would argue that. I just don't love the release of Scotty Barnes. So, if it comes down to that and people, you don't want to argue against me. Well, my counterpoint is I just don't love his release. Scotty Pippen is extremely good. Still to this day, A tier at the shooting guard position. People are mad at me because I think I left him off my top 100 list accidentally. Scotty Pippen is still really, really good at that shooting guard position. If you have a free Scotty Pippen from those stellar packs with those juiced odds, the, the, the one week we actually got decent odds, he is still definitely playable in my team. Sean Livingston up next. Sean Livingston is S tier. Sean Livingston is S tier. If you know with Sean Livingston, you know an absolutely incredible reward that we did get for my team unlimited S tier, no doubt about it. Sean Bradley, I'm getting I'm just like if there's a giant that's not very good, I'm just gonna put him at the same tier. Cause he's still a giant in a game in which you need giants to compete, but he's just so slow C tier. Steve Francis, B tier. He is undersized, but he dunks on everybody. I just wish his release was a little bit better. Because that's the thing for me and Steve Francis. I just feel like his release leaves that little bit to be desired. Thurl Bailey, S tier. Thurl Bailey is absolutely incredible. And if there's not if there's not anybody else vouching for Thurl Bailey, I will vouch for him. Card is absolutely elite. Good release, 6'11 in a game which height runs the game. Good dribble six. What is there, I mean, not to like about Thurl Bailey? The other Thurl Bailey, the non-hero one would probably be A tier just because he's not as good shooting wise. Thurl Bailey's elite though in my team. Kukuch, I don't really love Kukuch that much. I'm going to put him at B tier. You guys can argue me if you want. I just never really got the hang of the card. T-Mac, C tier. I just, I don't see it with T-Mac. Definitely way too undersized for me. Tyson Chandler, a card I like and respect. A tier gives you good height. Not a great shooter, but everything else on the court he is going to provide for you. And last but certainly not least, Big Z. S tier. Why is Big Z S tier? He's seven foot three. If you want to argue me, that's fine. But he is seven three. So in a game in which again height runs the game, I am going to give him the benefit of the, of the doubt. That is gonna wrap it up for our video today, guys. I need to know your thoughts on the Galaxy Opal tier list down below in the comments. Do you guys think this is a great tier list or one that is not perfect? Let me know. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you already do it as always, man. I love you guys. And have a blessed day.